not knew how much risk was in that system. Bilateral, spoke, non-reported transactions. No one knew how much risk was in that system. Repackaged and re-leveraged again and again and again and again. No one knew how much risk was in that system. Bilateral, spoke, non-reported transactions. No one knew how much risk was in that system. Repackaged and re-leveraged again and again and again and again and again and again. What the hell has happened here with FTX? We're getting reports coming out that FTX is apparently thinking of restarting. It seems they found some coins under the couch to the tune of $7.3 billion. Crazy stuff. So let's break this one down. Let's see if it's reopening this year in Q2, as many social media reports have stated, or whether this is misinformation and some fake news. If you enjoy the content today, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So reports come out yesterday that FTX is thinking about reopening and apparently they found a ton of coins which could be coming back to their creditors, i.e. crypto traders. So on the looks of things, first glance, that would be bullish. If people can recover funds they thought were dead and buried, this is obviously good for the market. If billions of dollars can come back to degenerate traders, we probably would see a bit of a pump off the back of that and some respite from all the negativity of 2022 but I think it's a slightly different story than what is just painted from the headlines. So let's jump in here. So legal attorney Andy Dietrich has been stating a few facts here. He says this, the situation at FTX has been stabilized and funny choice of words, the dumpster fire is now out. So this comes five months earlier when we had the November collapse of FTX, the whole Bahamas investigation that shocked the world and everyone going, what the fuck was going on out there with those weirdos or banging each other. Well, they were banging each other and stealing our funds in some form of Ponzi scheme. Anyhow, Andy Dietrich has told the court that the team of professionals who took over FTX after former CEO Sam Bankman Freed was forced to step down have been working hard to build the balance sheets from scratch and track down assets for customer recovery. So coins under the couch analogy, missing ledger wallets, apparently they found some. So far, according to a presentation made by Dietrich, the company has recovered a whopping $7.3 billion in mostly liquid distributable assets, up nearly $2 billion from the figure lawyers gave back in a hearing in January. Now, is this an additional $2 billion of actual assets or is it just the value of said assets has gone up $2 billion as Q1 has been very kind to the crypto markets? Still slightly unsure of those facts. They're not really covered in too much detail here by Coindesk. The article also goes on a bit of a tip of the hat to some of the investigative work from the enforcement agencies who have obviously applied a lot of pressure on former FTX executives. And they say Dietrich said Wang in particular has been helpful in FTX's new leadership to locate additional assets. So it does seem they have found some additional coins here as Gary Wang has given up the ghost. But in terms of the deadlines, when could we see FTX relaunch and will it potentially relaunch? These are still unknowns. So let's jump into the timeline here because on social media it was stating FTX could open up as early as Q2 of 2023. But this is actually counter to what Dietrich has been stating. 2024 is the figure he states. And he says, after the recovery of these billions of dollars in assets, we can now start to think about a reboot. The exchange could look to open as soon as next year. So this would therefore be 2024. So no hopes of an early restart in 2023. Another question to pose, who's going to be using this exchange? The feds are all over it. If you value any form of privacy, probably not an exchange you want to use, but that is a story for a different day. And the moral of the story here is that the legal fees and the legal teams are the ones who always make out like the bandits during these liquidation, these disputes, or anything going wrong in the crypto space, as we've seen the likes of Celsius, Voyager, and others. No difference with FTX. The lawyers cashed in a cool $30 million in the month of February, Sullivan and Cromwell themselves getting 13.5 mil of that. Big, big bucks. Woo Blockchain has tweeted a bit of a breakdown of the assets here. The 7.3 billion includes 2 billion in cash, 4.3 billion in class A cryptocurrencies, 
Not sure what class A means. Maybe that's top tens. 300 million in securities and 600 million in investment receivables, probably seed investments and things along that nature. So crypto personality Alumdart had posted this earlier. He's had the FTX 2.0 advocate in his name since the collapse, really. And he states this to anyone new to bankruptcy. Most of this is nothing new. The 7.3 bill isn't exactly 7.3 bill, probably 20 to 30 percent less when you factor out all the illiquid shit. But yes, FTX 2.0 is probably going to happen, which is awesome since it lets creditors get a piece of an exchange they can all rebuild. So this goes into the fact that potentially creditors can own a stake in the new entity. So this would probably be similar to the Bitfinex scenario that happened many years back with a kind of debt token in place for the creditors. So that's kind of some of the thinking around this. So whether this is going to be a net positive or not is yet to be seen. I can see on the negative side of things, people stating, look, they're going to have to liquidate all these assets and distribute cash. That's like $6 billion worth of illiquid and liquid crypto assets but we really don't know how this will play out so it's all just speculation at this point but one thing we do love to do in the crypto space is of course speculate on coins and news as it comes in exhibit a the ftx this is the ftt token so can you point on the chart exactly sir where the news broke that FTX exchange may reopen. A cool move of a 2x in less than about 30 minutes, $1.32 up to around $2.60. It went a lot higher on a few wicks on various exchanges. Crazy stuff, typical day in crypto land. Now a bit of counterculture here from Max Kaiser. He says regulators are pretending FTX has billions in assets and they want to relaunch the exchange. So he's saying, look, this is all bullshit. Fact, he says, lots of American politicians have trapped FTT tokens and hope by hyping this lie, they can exit some FTT tokens and recoup some of their losses. This is next level criminality, end quote. Let me know your thoughts on this down below as a potential conspiracy theory. Then just to end things up quickly on a Shanghai update, of course, the beacon chain withdrawals are now live. You can see that from the amber bars on the chart there, Ethereum being withdrawn from the beacon chain, a momentous moment. It started off around 11, 12,000 ETH being withdrawn per last two hour blocks. And it's slowly and gradually coming down here and it's looking like it's gonna taper off. In total, a net reduction in ETH on the beacon chain of 87,000 ETH over the last 24 hours. So 17,000 going in, over 100,000 ETH coming out and exiting the withdrawal queue around 713,000 Ethereum with a grand total of 19, almost 20,000 validators looking for full exits here out of 567,000. On the chart, you can see from yesterday, this was the sell-off into the Shanghai upgrade. It then took place and then it pretty much recouped all of the previous price action that it left off from. But now this morning, it is starting to tick up once again. There was a ton of short interest on ETH piling up. Up. maybe those shorts are now getting squeezed here but overall i do think that this looks pretty healthy for ethereum not exactly a mass exodus of eth from the staking contracts and this event was potentially just the max fud event and so hopefully now onwards and upwards for the eth protocol Sid can get and uh, get the ethereum foundation to sell about uh, seventy thousand eth like basically at the top and that's doubled our runway now so so i hope you enjoyed this one drop me a comment down below what do you think of this ftx debacle would you use ftx 2.0 or ftx classic whatever it's going to be called in the year 2024 when it comes out drop me a comment down below see you in the next one peace no one knew how much risk was in that system bilateral spoke non-reported transactions no one knew how much risk was in that system repackaged and re-leveraged again and again and again and again no one knew how much risk was in that system bilateral spoke non-reported transactions no one knew how much risk was in that system repackaged and re-leveraged again and again and again and again and again and again again and again and again again and again repackaged and re-leveraged again and again again and again and again again and again that's a scam
yeah, absolutely could pull it off without my math degree. <laughs> I use very little math. Um, use a lot of like uh, elementary school math. Being comfortable with risk is very important. Um. <laughs> what? No one knew how much risk was in that system. What? Bilateral, bespoke, non-reported transactions. No one knew how much risk was in that system. What? Repackaged and re-leveraged again and 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 again. And again. Again, repackaged and re-leveraged again and again and again and again and again and again and again.